Hey guys, we are multiplying square roots today. So I'm going to show you this example, one way to do it. Then we're going to talk about this example. And then guess what? We're going to hop back over here and just bring it all together. So if I were solving this, one way I could solve this would be to simplify the square roots first. So if I want to multiply these and I'm like, well, I'm just going to simplify the square roots first. The square root of four would give me two because two times two is four. And the square root of 64 gives me eight because eight times eight is 64. So then I'm left with two times eight, which guess what is 16. Sweet. But YouTube math lady, it's not always nice square roots, right? Sometimes it's the square root of seven and I don't know what that is without a calculator. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so what do we do when it's square roots that aren't nice numbers like over here? Well, when we have square roots like this and we don't want to get nasty decimals, we can go ahead and multiply these since they're both under square roots. So it's going to look a little something like this. We can join them together, 7 times 12, under the same square root. Then when I multiply those, 7 times 12, I get the square root of 84. Now, the square root of 84 isn't a pretty number, <laughs> but we can go ahead and simplify this. I'm going to simplify it real quickly here. If you need a more in-depth tutorial, I'll link a video for you in the corner. But when we simplify this, we're going to go ahead and do the prime factorization. So I think what two numbers can multiply to get 84? Uh, two of them could be 3 and 28. And I go ahead and circle any prime numbers I get. So 3. And then 28 could be broken into 2 and 14. 2 is prime. And then 14 can be broken into 2 times 7. 2 and 7 are both prime. And then any doubles I see, I pull to the outside of the square root. So I pull that out to have a 2 outside. And what is left under the square root is 3 times 7 or 21. Okay, there we go. So the square root of 84 and two square roots of 21, they're the same answer. One is just more simplified. Okay, all right. So now let's go make sure that if we had multiplied this problem like we did this one, that we'll get the answer 16. So let's see. If we do it this way, what happens? Okay, so like we said over here, they're both under the square root, so we can go ahead and join them together under 1, 4 times 64. 4 times 64 gives me 256. We're still under that square root. And guys, guess what the square root of 256 is? It's 16. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is how we multiply square roots. And over here, we just took a little time to show that it really works. Hopefully that made sense. I will link some more radical videos for you if you need them. Thanks.